So minions, this is the plan. Queen Elsa is visiting the Isle of Sodor for the first time and Sir Topham Hatt has three expensive gems to give her as a present. We are going to kidnap Queen Elsa and steal those jewels. <laughs> the Isle of Sodor was buzzing with excitement. Queen Elsa was visiting for the first time and every single engine wanted to meet her. I heard she's really pretty. I heard she has magical ice powers. Thomas was on his way to the Sodor Palace with Queen Elsa in one of the carriages. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting there with three expensive gems to give her. And so many engines came to watch. There were naughty engines. There were engines that came all the way from Brendan Docks. And some of the engines even dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> Thomas was nearly there when suddenly he crashed into some minions. <laughs> Smirked Gru. Queen Elsa, this is a kidnapping. <laughs> if you could come with me, please. <laughs> Banana? You won't get away with this, Gru. Now to begin phase two of my plan. <laughs> Diesel 10 picked up the carriages <laughs> to continue the journey. I thought Thomas was picking up Queen Elsa, said Murdoch. Oh well, she's here now anyway, said Arthur excitedly. Music started playing as Diesel 10 rolled up to the front of the Sodor Palace. Introducing Queen Elsa! Hello. She is beautiful. I thought she'd be taller. <laughs> huh? Look, look. Huh? It's snowing. It's snowing. Woohoo! It's snowing because I'm angry. Ha! Oh, nice one, Queen Elsa, said Thomas. Hop in and let's get to Sodor Palace. <laughs> Queen Elsa, these gifts are for you from all of the engines on the Isle of Sodor. Thomas and Queen Elsa were steaming along as fast as Thomas could go. Stop right there! Uh-oh. I'm the real Queen Elsa. Quick, run! Run! Uh-oh! Now take those imposters away! Ow! Ow! Ouch!
Queen and Mater were tracked to Tipton. That was good fun, said McQueen. It always is, replied Mater. But are you sure we're allowed to do it? asked McQueen. Well, there's only one person who doesn't want us to do it, replied Mater. Frank! So they ran, with Frank close behind. He doesn't like water, cried McQueen, so let's cross the river. I don't think I can, said Mater, but Frank was catching up. I don't think we have much choice, cried McQueen, and he went for it. Yes, made it! So Mater then went for it. Haha, yes, he cried. Frank backed off. Phew, that was close, said Mater. A bit too close, added McQueen. Hmm, what's that I can hear? asked Mater. Oh no, Sheriff's after us. I didn't think we were allowed to track the tip, said McQueen. Sheriff passed by. He didn't spot us, said McQueen, but it's only a matter of time before he does. We need a disguise. He then spotted some cans of paint and had an idea. Right, if you paint me yellow, I'll paint you blue, and he won't recognise us, said McQueen. There you go, said Mater. Well, it's not bad, said McQueen, but a lot of red is still showing through. Come on, I'll paint you blue. But before he could, Ramon arrived. Hey guys, he said, I can provide you with a much better coat of paint. And he took them to his house of body art. I'll show you how it works, he said. All you do is go down the slide and into the water. Like so. He turned from red to yellow. Wow, that's amazing, they cried. There's other colours available too, said Ramon, and he showed them. He changed blue. OK, my turn, said McQueen, and he went down the slide. His coat was now perfectly yellow with no red showing through at all. Look at my new coat of paint, said McQueen, and Mater painted himself a bluey green. So they all looked different. Ooh, here comes Sheriff, said Ramon. But he drove straight past. Yes, he didn't recognise us, cried Mater. Uh-oh, he's coming this way, said McQueen. Hey guys, said Sheriff. I'm looking for two criminals. Two minions. Phew, I thought you were looking for us because we were tractor tipping, cried Mater. Mater, shush, said McQueen. Tractor tipping? Well, I don't mind you doing that, said Sheriff. That's Frank's problem. So McQueen and Mater were relieved. So, if you see two mischievous minions, please report it to me, said Sheriff. Well, looks like the minions had the same idea as McQueen and Mater. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, wow. Purple. Back at the front. We'll look out for those yellow minions, said McQueen. Hey Sheriff, while you're here, why don't you get a paint job, said Ramon. So he painted Sheriff green. So all of them looked completely different now. Excuse me, don't mind us. You're not looking for us, we're different. We're not yellow, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Look! <laughs> 
spider. Help! Help! Three minions go past. No, ma'am, sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 hide, hide, tuddle. Vampire! 
Vampire magic. Vampire magic. Haha, <laughs> goodbye. Haha. <laughs> uh oh. Woohoo! Oh, where's Bob? Uh oh. Minions, I need you to move this pumpkin. It's for my next invention. Chop chop. Heave! Heave! Ah, uh, too heavy, too heavy. Oh, idea! Ta-da! Yay! Ta-da! Oops! I'm so angry! Where has my pumpkin gone? Why are there lots of little mini pumpkins? And why is there a great big yellow... I will put everything back to normal.
<sighs> I'll move the pumpkin myself. <laughs> the minions were relaxing by the beach. Mmm, banana. When suddenly... The minions ran so far that they had ended up where there are dinosaurs. Ooh, cave. The minions wandered into the cave. They had found a dinosaur egg. <laughs> So they stole the egg. They were moving the egg when they heard a roar. Huh? Run! In here! The minions jumped into the water to hide. Stupid dinosaur. So the minions loaded the egg onto Thomas's truck. Dinosaur pushed the tree onto the track to stop Thomas. But the minions changed the points just in time. Uh, sucker. The minions hadn't noticed the egg had fallen off the track. The dinosaur retrieved its egg and ran away. Silly minions, they had no idea the egg had gone. It was a lovely sunny day and minions Kevin and Dave decided to go to the beach. dinosaur into the sea. The minions looked up to see banana trees on a little island out to sea. Ooh, bananas! Kevin had an idea. They could swim to the island in the inflatable dinosaur. But when they turned around, it had floated away. Oh no, my dinosaur! Come back, come back! But it was too late. Then Dave had an idea. He could see a rowing boat. They could borrow the boat to get to the island. Look, look, boat! Yay! Great idea! Yay! Ah! 
But there were no bananas on the trees, just coconuts. Oh, ah! Oh. And to make matters worse, the oars of the boat began to float away. Oh no, we're stuck! Help, help! Luckily, Ryder was looking through his telescope when he noticed the minions. Pups, we have an emergency, he cried. Some minions are trapped on an island in the sea. Sky, we need you in your helicopter to locate them. And Zuma, we need your hovercraft. Let's go! So off they went on their rescue mission. Sky located them and informed Ryder where they were. Yes, I can see them, cried Ryder to Zuma. Let's go! Kevin was so excited about being rescued, he did a silly thing. Yay, Paw Patrol! Whoa! Kevin! Help! 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 Zuma threw Kevin a rubber ring. But Kevin couldn't grab hold of it. I'll save him, cried Ryder, and he lifted Kevin up onto the ATV. He dropped Kevin back into the boat. Phew! Thanks, Ryder. Yay, you're safe! Tie the rope to the boat and pull it to the shore, instructed Ryder to Zuma. I'll collect the oars and the inflatable dinosaur. Ryder returned the oars to the boat. Why were you on the island? he asked the minions. <laughs> we were looking for bananas, answered the minions. You won't find bananas there, chuckled Ryder. But we have plenty in the lookout. Let's go back and have a banana picnic. Yay! Banana picnic! So off they went. enjoyed their bananas. <laughs> oh no! Ultron's free! And he's making a mess! <laughs> ah, Iron Man! Get him! Oh dear. Meanwhile, back at the Avengers headquarters. Ultron's escaped. We need to get him, said Iron Man. He's very powerful, said Captain America. We need help, said Ant-Man. Well, I know some scientists that could help, said Wolverine. Ooh, banana, yum yum. They're meant to help us, asked Iron Man. They've invented something, said Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ta-da! It's an egg, said Iron Man. 
Oh no, it's better than that, said Wolverine. Right. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. Ah, yes. What is it? asked Iron Man. It's an Avengers Masham capsule. It could be a clone of any of us inside, said Captain America. Inside this one was Thor. Huh. Got him. Didn't see me there, did you? said Ant-Man. Uh-oh. Haha, <laughs> miss me. Oh. Ow. Ow. Ultron stood on me, complained Ant-Man. Don't worry, there's another capsule, said Wolverine. Oh no! Another Ultron! Ah! Duck! Whew. Oh dear, said Wolverine. Let's hope it's not another Ultron in this one. Luckily, Falcon was in this one. Let's get him, said Captain America. <laughs> Strike! Ow! He's too strong, said Captain America. Don't worry, we have one more capsule, said Wolverine. The Hulk was inside. Let's do this. Huh? <laughs> Ultron was defeated. The others arrived. You did it, said Captain America. Well done, said Iron Man. Thank you, said Wolverine. Take him away, Thomas, said Ant-Man. So Thomas took Ultron away, and Sodor was safe again. Ooh, treasure, treasure. Yes, 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 yes. Easy. It's floating away!
more treasure. Yes, 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 yes. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh. Oh.
Thank you.